Hello, and welcome back to our episode of Mech Commander 2. When we last left off, we officially declared war on House Liao. Us, because we actually fought them. I debated with myself who to actually take, and I ended up upgrading our support bushwhacker to the cannon platform shootist. And that's about it. Two urban mechs? A bit more payload where we can take a urban mech and something. Ba basically take another urban mech on top of the other uh, bushwhacker. But now we have quite a lot of objectives. And I actually remember this mission now. It's a night mission. There's li there's lights now. Want me to adjust my headset a wee bit? But now we have the shootist, which has even more LRMs. Two more, to be exact, technically. Which isn't a whole lot in retrospect, but for the amount of extra space we had, it was that or downgrade it to two urban mechs, which I'm not entirely sure would be a good idea or not. Well, that should wake them up. There's another one over there. Technically, we could d destroy both of them. Alright, we have detected one thing that does not even seem to have noticed our presence. Oh, no, it's actually turning. It's a tank. It's a tank with auto cannons on it. I was kind of hoping that would blow up the partisan, but partisan, or however you're supposed to pronounce it. I'm horrible at pronouncing things. I'm guessing destroying the spotlights would actually be a good idea. Oh, spotlight control. Maybe we should take that. He says because it is kind of obvious. You guys stay there. In fact, you guys shoot the Anubis. Could you take the spotlight control before someone gets too close? I don't know why we need the spotlight control, but I'll be danged if I don't take it. Alright, that is a LRM carrier. As such, as you are who you are, I want you to go after the LRM carriers. Hopefully, eventually, I can equip her with better weapons, though. Oh, that's another Anubis, actually. No, I don't want you to shoot at the wall. Alright, you guys shoot at the other Anubis. Why are you shooting at the wall, Flash? Explain this to me. Get in there and take out the LRMs. Just start shooting at everything. Uh, one of you guys can start taking out the Vedettes, actually. feel like taking those out would be nice, because they're probably starting to actually tear at our armor now. I don't know what a Vedette does. It has an autocannon on it. Oh, that's actually a partisan. All right, we took down the other mech. Because if we did, I am glad. I want you guys to get over here and take out the partisan. In fact, I want you, Hackshaw, Hacksaw. I can't speak at all. That did jack all. I got it, I got it. Well, I destroyed all of their fuel instead of just some of it. Oh, wait, no, there's another deposit. Could you. There you go. Now, the partisan has four light auto cannons. Sheesh, that's actually pretty sizable. It has, it has plenty of health to boot. 
fact, it kind of refuses to die. There we go. Okay, now what we need to do is take that. Which I will have everybody just run up to, because we can. Except Hacksaw. Hacksaw, my man, will run over there and blow that up for fun. It doesn't look like you're actually running, mate. My mouse has been really finicky lately, where half of the time it double clicks when I tell it to single click. Which is kind of annoying at times. You got yourself some ER energy weapon technology. ER stands for extended range. Same damage, but it fires farther. Well, that's pretty simple. Which means I could probably upgrade people's lasers to shoot farther. Now, whether they will shoot when they're closer, that's a good question. There just looks like there is an airstrip over there, so that is not a whole lot of use at all. There is, however, two auto cannon turrets there, which I am not feeling in the slightest. I wonder, I wonder if she could jump jet over that entire thing. She could probably jump jet from over here, actually. In fact, I think that, that that's what that is for. Are you guys running? You are. So I want you to just run up there. Because if I had you try and jump jet over there... Oh. There is enemies over there. There is actually quite a few enemies over there. Looks like I need to take you guys over here. Creepy music. Because what I want to do is jump across, so that way I can just jump right in and take the turret control from the north. And then, anything else that tries to come in and help gets trashed. A storm? The hell is a storm? Two PPCs? Ow! That, that, that'll hurt unless we take, take care of it soon. Thank God it sucks at shooting. Just one large laser on these things. Pretty easy. Now I want you to run up, and then... Here's the key. Jump jet over there. Okay. Now, run over there. And now you, Flash, can jump jet to the other side. There you go. And now you can just run over here and hopefully take the base. Because I would like those auto cannons on my side. That's not too promising when that thing opens and I can't see what forced it open. Oh, there actually appears to be stuff. And those stuff make it impossible to take the base. At least from this end. But I can see everything, so what I'm going to do is disable these two turrets. Which will hopefully attract the enemy's attention. Ow! Look at Hacksaw's health! Hacksaw just got half killed because of that. You can take a centipede. I'm sorry, but you can if you can't take a centipede, I worry for your career. I know, are you losing? There you go. Now, what is that? Of course it's an LRM carrier. Ha! 
hacksaw. What the? No. Just wow. Well, that's going in the bloopers. <laughs> Holy crap. When we come back, I will try this and hopefully not have Hacksaw just utterly destroyed. He has... He has minorly less armor than Flash. He should not be taking that much damage. Holy crap. So when we come back, I will try this again. Hot dang. That's for next time. Till then, see you later.